Hello and welcome to a new video tutorial on YouTube channel of Tutorialspedia.com. This video tutorial is part of a series of video tutorials uh, covering different topics related to Mule 4. And uh, I will be covering MuleSoft secure configuration in this video tutorial where I will explain and demonstrate that how we can encrypt and decrypt uh, our properties in Mule 4 in order to achieve another level of security. Here is more detail about uh, topics that we are going to cover and uh, demonstrate in this video tutorial. First of all, I will explain that uh, how we can use uh, secure properties tool which is provided by MuleSoft in order to encrypt our properties files. Secondly, I will explain that how we can uh, use Mule secure configuration properties module uh, which we have to import it from uh, Exchange as it's not re readily available directly in AnyPoint Studio. And last but not least, uh, we will see that uh, once we have uh, done the needful for securing the configuration file and we have added the secure configuration module from Exchange, then how we can use uh, conf uh, and configure secure properties global element and use uh, our secure properties in order to uh, configure our global elements uh, to securely connect to the external, uh, external uh, systems and applications. And for our scenario, we will be connecting to a MySQL database using the secure configuration properties files. In case uh, if you are uh, not uh, clear or if you don't have uh, enough uh, experience and understanding that how you can use the configuration properties file instead of hard coding uh, the global uh, element properties, uh, you can refer to another video that I created in the same playlist where I explained and demonstrated that how you can use YAML files are dot properties file in order to uh, uh, externalize uh, the properties uh, for your uh, global elements uh, in uh, separate files. So if you uh, want to know more, you can just uh, refer to that video, which uh, for, the, for that link I have placed in the suggestion box and uh, you can get back to this video. But in case if you are already aware that uh, how we can use uh, global properties uh, and global configurations, then you can proceed uh, with this video tutorial uh, where we will be uh, seeing that how we can uh, secure these configurations and do the needful. So without further ado, now let's uh, jump into the demonstration in AnyPoint Studio. I have already created a project in AnyPoint Studio with the name Secure Properties Tutorials Media, and this is where we will be doing all the required configurations uh, to see how we can secure our properties. In order to connect to MySQL database, which is the use, simple use case that we are going to cover, that we will be connecting to MySQL database from AnyPoint Studio using secure properties, I need to add a database module. That's the first thing. So I click on add modules and I will select database and just select this and drag it over the modules. And you will see that this module will get added. Okay. So once this module has been added, now let's uh, just create a simple flow. And uh, what I will do is that I will just uh, select a flow. And within this flow, I will use some of the database operator like uh, select operation. Okay, so in order to use this, uh, let's go, go to global elements and create a new property, a connection. And this is where we will be using database config. And for the database configuration, I will have to choose uh, MySQL connection. And uh, I have already added the uh, driver uh, jar file. In case if you don't have, you have two options. You can use uh, either uh, local file or you can use the Maven dependency. So in either case, uh, you can uh, add uh, the required jars and then you will be able to connect to the MySQL database. Okay, so here host, port, user, and password. So this is where we will be uh, looking into uh, throughout this tutorial that how we can uh, achieve the required configuration in a secure manner. So normally, in in the very basic scenario, what happens is that you you can hard code everything and you can connect. For example, in my case, I have a MySQL database running on uh, my uh, local machine at port three three zero six and uh, uh, with the default username and password. So just if I try without uh, configuration in the properties file, and just to verify that connection is successful, I will, sorry, I will use the host as a local host. 
and the port uh, where my C my SQL can, uh, locally is running is 3306 and the user the default user root and the default password and the and the, and the database i will select is tutorial speedia and i'll just click on test connection so if uh, everything is correctly configured as you can see we got test connection successful so this is uh, how we uh, do in a typical scenario with a very basic um, approach which is not of course the real uh, production scenario because in real production environment uh, production ready um, projects you won't be doing this type of hard coding as when moving from one environment to another you have to change it so you have to use the global configurations so what we do is that in order to use global configuration in a typical uh, basic manner which is uh, insecure manner you just create the global configuration files in the form of yaml file as you can see i have created a yaml file cred.yaml where we have db and within db we have host we have boot we have user and we have password so you, you you just create this type of file then you use global configuration properties and you refer to these which i have already covered in the previous tutorial but here what we are going to do we are going to secure it so in order to secure it you have to use uh, secure properties uh, uh, tool which is provided by uh, MuleSoft. so i will provide the link uh, to download that jar file in the description for me i have already downloaded that and here is the jar file secure properties tools dot jar so this is the jar file uh, which you will have to download and use in order to secure the configurations once you have downloaded this uh, secure property jar then you will have to use this command java dash cp uh, this this uh, uh, details about this these commands are provided in the official documentation of mule soft as well for that also i'll put the link in the description and you will have to use secure dash properties dash tool dot jar which is the jar file and then you will have to write the detail about the class com dot mule soft dot tool dot secure properties tool and then there are certain parameters method here you have to specify what action you want to perform in our case we will write encrypt sorry uh, that is the operation so the method is uh, either you want to do it at file level or you have to you want to do it at the uh, key level within the file so if you want to just encrypt the uh, values for the particular keys then you will use the method as file and if you want to encrypt the entire file then you will use the method as file dash level and then the operation H operation you will specify whether you want to encrypt or what so in our case we want to encrypt so we will specify the operation as encrypt and then you have algorithm option there are multiple uh, algorithms supported by this tool and one of the by default it's aes and we will be using for our example scenario blowfish as you can see here i have already added the configurations and then mode you have uh, uh, multiple options available for the uh, mode that you can use and we will be using cbc and then uh, you will have to choose the key this is the key that you want uh, to use from yourself uh, in order to encrypt this file and this will be needed whenever you are going to decrypt it from the anypoint studio in my case as an example i'm using tutorial speedia as the key and then you will have to specify the input file and input file i will use this cred.yaml file which has all the insecure properties already added and then you will use select the output file so which output file you want to create so i in my case i created scred.yaml so scred.yaml will be the output file which will be created with the encrypted and secured properties added there is another optional uh, uh, element available so if you want to use a random iv then then uh, you can use this as well but in our case since it's optional uh, we will be not uh, we will not be using it so we will only uh, look into the only mandatory uh, options that are available and only mandatory parameters will be passed so based on this information i have created this command you can see java and then i have specified the dash cp and the jar and jar name and then the class name and i have chosen the file uh, as uh, as the method because i want to encrypt only the uh, values for the keys not the entire file if i had to do that i would have to use file dash level but i'm not using that I will use the file because I want to encrypt only the properties and in, I will choose the uh, operation as encrypt and blowfish is the uh, algorithm and CBC is the mode that I'm using and tutorial speedia is the key that I will be using and then I will have these uh, input and output files all right so now let's do this 
for that purpose i will have to first uh, make sure that my uh, file is there so i have already this file available here cred.yaml let me put it in the same folder okay now we have the jar and we have the input file available here so i will just uh, do the cmd at the same level let me increase the font so that you can see it better okay should be big enough let me copy this and just uh, try to run it okay so it has run successfully now if you go to the same folder you can see we have scred.yaml file created if we try to edit it in notepad plus plus you can see that it has all the properties and the values uh, with an exclamation and uh, this uh, braces which means these are the encrypted values now in order to decrypt these values only uh, using the same key that we provided we will be able to decrypt it okay so now we have this in, uh, the encrypted file available let's uh, uh, copy this and add it to the uh, project there are two options you can import it directly but i will uh, not do import rather i will create the file so i will go to the resources and i will create a new file i will name it scred.yaml and in the content i will just paste the encrypted uh, properties okay so now that you have uh, created your file next thing that we have to do is that uh, uh, we have to uh, make the necessary uh, changes and we have to make uh, import necessary um, uh, necessary modules uh, from exchange in order to decrypt this and in order to use this file for that purpose let's uh, go here in our flow and in the in the in the modules we have to choose this option search in exchange because the secure configuration properties uh, module is not available directly you have to import it from the exchange you should have a username and password available i mean you have you should have a con uh, you should have an account uh, available in uh, any point platform if you don't have an existing one you can create a trial account i have already created and i'm already logged in so i will directly go here and just search um, secure so if you search with the secure uh, you should see many results it's searching for uh, uh, searching within the exchange based on the uh, keyword that i provided which is secure it will take uh, a little time uh, and search for me whatever i have uh, searched in the exchange so you can see that uh, the first thing that we see here in the search result is MuleSoft secure configuration properties extension so this is the one that we are going to select and just click on add and right now uh, it's the version the latest version is 1.2.3 and we will click on finish so you can see that secure properties module has been added now so once you have secure properties module added now you can uh, go to the global elements and you if you click on create you will have another option available here if you okay if you go to connector configuration you have secure properties config so this is the one you will use so you will click on this secure conf uh, properties config and here you will specify the file so the file that we will select here will be our secure properties file okay scred.yml that we just uh, created and here you will have to provide the key the key should be same key that you used uh, when encrypting so we will go to the uh, file sorry we will go to the command we selected uh, this tutorial speed as the key when encrypting so i will add the same okay and uh, we we did not do file level encryption by default it's false because we did file encryption not file level encryption okay so here if you see encryption the algorithm that we use is blowfish and the mode that we used is cbc which is the default one and we did not use random ivs so we will just click on okay all right so once you have done this now you go to database config and instead of hard coding you will have to use dollar secure and 
two colons and then db dot whatever are the properties db dot host port user and password db dot host for the port we will do the same approach dollar sign curly brackets secure two colons and db dot port and for the users we will do the same dollar secure and db dot user and for the password dollar and we will do the same way db dot password okay and if we now try a test connection if we have done everything right we should see the test connection is successful so yeah we can see that now test connection is successful and we can click on ok button and now this means that we have done everything correctly okay now let's go to the message flow and try to connect to the database and do some operation so i will choose connector configuration as database config and here let me take the same uh, select statement that we have here select steric from uh, employees data which is the table okay let's remove this schema name because it's already selected the username okay so in this way we will be doing let me add some uh, source i will add a timer scheduler and the frequency i will set set in uh, minutes i want to run it on every five minutes just an example scenario actually i will run it once only and we will just want to verify that uh, with uh, the secure configuration we are able to uh, select whatever data we have already uh, set a uh, test the connection which is successful so just uh, as, as an edit test we want to use the select operation and want to uh, fetch some data from the database so let's run this project in the mule runtime, embedded runtime, and then after a uh, few seconds, we will be able to see the results. So we can see that the project is in deployed status, and uh, it should have already executed, but I forgot to add a logger at the end, so we will not be able to see anything. So in order to see the results, uh, let's add a logger. So what I will do is that uh, I will uh, add a logger, but before that I want to use a transform so that uh, we convert the response into JSON format. I will add the transform message. And here in the configuration of this transform message, I will just convert the output into the JSON format because when it will be fetched from the database, it will be in the, uh, in the form of Java application slash Java, which will be the Java object. Okay, so I will make it payload and then let me add logger at the end. And here in the logger, we will be just uh, logging the payload. Okay, I just saved it and it should be automatically reloaded and redeployed. And in the console, we should be able to see the response. We can see that uh, whatever uh, data has been fetched from the database using the secure configurations we can see uh, everything there. So in this way, we have correctly configured our database uh, connection using the secure configuration properties, and we are able to fetch data from the database. Okay, so that's it from this video. And I hope that uh, whatever uh, information I conveyed to you using this tutorial will be helpful for you. And if you have uh, any questions, uh, or any ambiguities, or you need further clarification, you can write in the comment section. And for more uh, reading, you can always refer to the other tutorials in this playlist. And also uh, as a primary source of all the information, you can refer to Mules of official documentation as well. And uh, as if you are interested uh, in more videos like this in future, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon as more is yet to come. Thank you.